What are some of the benefits that a dashboard provides a company? These can be very strategic. First, it makes everyone accountable. It frames their work in a way that they understand the priorities and what their focus is in any given month, which allows them to go away and do work and not be micromanaged, but have agreement on what they're going to deliver in that month, whether that's an improvement in a KPI, key performance indicator number, or you know some cost reduction, whatever. There's clarity and accountability. So that's number one. Secondly, it focuses people on the mission. A good dashboard is connecting the business strategy with those numbers that are being measured and it's communicating very well to the people that these are the relative priorities. And so whether those are economic, strategic, customer service, quality, performance, whatever those are, people can only work on improving one or two things at a time and you set monthly goals to rotate through some of these to improve as management by objective goals. Third benefit is it forces interdepartmental communications. Dashboards become a shorthand and they allow people to talk that meta talk to each other across departments because departments have interdependencies and when they all speak that language they can communicate and understand those interdependencies and work things out instead of working into finger pointing and politics. Fourth, a, a good dashboard can make a bad manager a good manager and a good manager a great manager because it injects the intellectual capital and uh, management techniques of the higher level executives, the founder, the CEO, and sometimes the customers and other key people into framing what a department or a manager is supposed to do. So that creates continuity, it reduces turnover, it increases growth, all kinds of, of subtle but strategic benefits. Fifth, dashboards enable what's called management by exception. Management by exception requires a lot less time so that the managers and executives can rotate to key things in a given quarter or a given month and still by the dashboard being fed in, be comfortable that these other areas of the business are doing okay. If there's an anomaly, if there's a problem, they know right away it's a red flag and they can turn some attention back. But by publishing a dashboard, you as a manager actually get more freedom and more capability to perform because they are comfortable to leave you alone and do your own thing, which means you get more work done, you have more freedom. And lastly, the sixth benefit, and there are many more, it sets benchmarks to be able to improve the business. There's an old management saw, you can't improve what you don't measure. So by measuring the four key types of numbers, and most companies blow this and they only me measure two of those types of numbers, you'll learn in our sessions what those are and how to generate a, a better dashboard, though we certainly recommend you use an outside expert who isn't stuck in the way of thinking that you are. But the, the sixth one is it sets benchmarks so that you can set goals to improve, whether it's profit, productivity, output, uh, of, of services, customer happiness, whatever those key things are that your business needs to improve for competitive advantage, they're published, they're measured, and, and this is major league impacting. This is the difference, doing a good dashboard is the difference between an also-ran company and one that dominates its market. But very few companies do it and do it well.